Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 595. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 591 to 595. In this trick here, we want to go all the way back to uh, YouTubers Love Excel number 67. There's the link if you want to watch it. Here's what we did in that one. We had a database, some uh, first name, last name, date, hours, wage. And we wanted to be able to, on a different sheet, retrieve the record. So for example, I wanted to be able to select any person's name over there, the last name, right? And then have the record retrieved here. So if I changed it, the record would be retrieved. Seven, we go back over here, it actually got all that data. Now we did, in that video we did two functions. We did the VLOOKUP, which is actually uh, the uh, better method between dget and vlookup. So that's, and that's more robust. Um, go back and watch that video if you want to see how to do that. It's very cool. It extracts the record. dget, um, again, go back and see a totally different syntax and different setup, but dget is doing the exact same thing as vlookup. It's retrieving one record. But watch this. Uh, and someone posted a comment said, hey, what happens when I select the first name? Why am I getting num error? Well, let's go back over here. Uh, well, last name 1 and last name 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, it thinks they're all the same. It is treating them as if there are duplicates. And that's what happens when you have more than one value. Um, it thinks that there's more than one, one value, the D get returns a num arrow. Now let's look at a better example here. Um, and this happens, the reason why I'm doing this video is because the same thing happens with advanced filter. Now here's our a database, a little database here. We have names, right? And there's a Chris and Christina. Well when you select Chris, it actually, the D get right here, thinks is confused because it sees Christina and Chris. However, if I select Christina, it doesn't have the same problem. So, um, D get the solution is just to use the V lookup. But let's take an example look at what advanced filter does. Advanced filter does the same thing. It, it'll treat Chris and Christina as the same thing. So I'm gonna click in one cell. I'm gonna go to data. Uh, my screen is scrunched down in the sort and filter group. Go to advanced. I'm going to say what I want to do. I do not want to filter this in place. I want to extract some records. The list range, it got right. The criteria range, I'm going to highlight the field name and the criteria. I'm going to make sure I highlight uh, a single cell here. And I'm going to click OK. Look what it does. And I have another video exactly on this. Advanced, so you can search for advanced filter not. The only way to, to deal with this is to come over here and say, uh, I'm going to copy this and put a not symbol, less than, greater than. That means not, less than, greater than. And now if we run our advanced filter, so I'm going to advanced filter. I got the range, I got the criteria. Criteria is not correct. I'm going to include the actual name, that's the field name and the criteria I want to extract, and another field name and criteria, not Christina. I'm going to select it right there and then click OK, and then now we get just Chris. So uh, really the point of this video is just to take note of an oddity and notice that the whatever engine underneath is driving or whatever code is doing the same thing um, here. Actually, if you same thing as um, advanced filter, if I select Christina, it's fine. If you select just uh, Christina, it'll extract just Chris, Christina, but not Chris, not the smaller one in essence. So similarities between these. dget, switch over to VLOOKUP. Uh, advanced filter, do a not criteria. All right, we'll see you next trick.